Hello, I'm Elizabeth with Hamilton Native Outpost, and I'm down here this morning in the seed bag up barn. This is where we bag up seed when an order comes in, and I would like to talk about when is best to plant seed. We often think of planting seed in the spring, and that is good for some things. However, some of the native plants need what we call cold moist stratification. So before we jump into the term of cold moist stratification and what that means and when to actually plant the seeds, let's look at these seeds that I have here in front of me. This is something called Indian grass seed. It's one of the native grasses. Has a fluffy seed to it. It's kind of golden in color. This seed is called partridge pea. Partridge pea is a native legume. Has a different looking seed. It's a different color. It's black kind of has a, a squashed square look to the seed. I chose these two seeds for a reason this morning. This one, the partridge peas, needs planted in the winter. It needs cold moist stratification. Indian grass does not need to be cold moist stratified. Doesn't have that need, doesn't have that dormancy built into it. So it can be planted in the spring or in the winter, either one. So what is cold moist stratification? Cold moist stratification is a process that a seed needs to go through. So our partridge pea seed here, it needs to go through a process of being cold and being moist in order to break a dormancy that's in the seed. You can think of dormancy kind of like sleeping, like a hibernating bear. This seed is hibernating, and in order to break that hibernation or that dormancy, we need to have cold and moist periods for that seed at the same time. So to put this into something practical that you can actually use, the partridge pea, or a lot of native seeds that need cold moist stratification, so they need to go through that cold and moist period, also known as winter, of course. Winter is the cold and moist period in nature. They need about four to six weeks of this. And basically, so you know, why is it that a seed would need to be cold moist stratified? Basically, it's nature's way. It's what is designed into this seed to know that spring is here because spring is an ideal time for germination for many many plants most plants and after spring well after winter comes spring so if you go through winter you know you're in spring so basically this dormancy is built into this seed so that it has to go through a cold moist period before it will germinate Basically, it's Mother Nature's way of making sure that if that seed falls off of the plant in summer or fall, whenever it ripens, that it doesn't germinate when the nice fall rains come and the temperatures are good, the soil temperature is good, it's not too hot, there's good moisture. And some plants are fine with germinating then. Let's take the wild rice, they're actually fine to germinate in the fall. But there's not many plants uh, in our native species that like to germinate in the fall and do well with that. So the design is that if you have to go through a cold moist period before you'll germinate and you fall off the plant in summer or fall, well that means you're going to have to go through winter in order to arrive at spring, which is an ideal time for germination. So as annoying as it is that some of these plants have to be planted in the winter and that's not a normal thing, we're not used to thinking about that and we're not prepared for planting them in winter, it's really a great safety mechanism that nature has put into those seeds to allow them to germinate at the proper time. So while the partridge pea seed requires, and a lot of the forbs are in this category, um, the forbs or wildflowers, two, two words for the same thing, a lot of them need the cold moist stratification period. Uh, some of the grasses, big blue stem, Indian grass, uh, little blue stem, side oats grama, they don't need the cold moist stratification, but a vast majority of our plants in Missouri do need the cold moist stratification. But if you're doing it, planting a mix that contains both seeds that need the cold moist stratification and those that don't need the cold moist stratification, it's just fine to plant everything in the winter because it won't hurt the Indian grass seed or these other seeds that don't need the cold moist period to go through winter. In fact, when they fall off of the plant in nature, they fall onto the ground and they sit there through the winter. It's just that they don't require it, but it doesn't hurt them to go through winter. We get a lot of phone calls here at, at the seed company in spring. 
people wondering, hey, can I go ahead and plant my wildflower mix? And really, it's too late. We consider February 15th here in our part of the state to be the planting deadline. So we like to do plantings before then. A lot of times we aim for January because if the field conditions get wet or something happens, we still have time before that deadline to get it done. So if you're sitting past the deadline, you have a couple choices. One choice is that you can go ahead and plant it. Some of them will germinate. So some of these partridge pea seeds would germinate. Uh, the, some have more dormancy and some have less dormancy in them. And so some of them would germinate, but not, not a huge per percentage a lot of times. So you can plant them, um, something that some, whatever happens to a seed sitting there on the soil during that year could happen to this seed if it's not one of those that germinates. So a mouse could come and eat it, um, some insect could eat it, a bird, um, or it could rot, or some of them will sit there indeed until the following year when they get the cold moist period. Another option is to just go ahead and wait until next winter. And then a third option is to fool the seed into thinking it's been through winter by doing it in the refrigerator. So basically, you get the seed moist, so you soak it in water for a while, you drain the water off so that it's not standing in water, you just want it moist, then you put it in the refrigerator, and the refrigerator is actually better than the freezer. You put it in the refrigerator for four to six weeks, make sure that it's not molding during that time, make sure that it hasn't started to germinate. If either of those things happen, you go ahead and plant it immediately. And then four to six weeks later, you pull the seed out and go ahead and plant it uh, if you haven't had to plant it for one of the reasons of it germinating or molding already. So this is a kind of um, an artificial way to do it, and there's some problems with it. And of course, you have to have refrigerator space to put the seed in, but it is a good solution if you want to go ahead and get your planting done during the year that we're in and you're already sitting in spring. There is a guide for cold moist stratification on our website. If you'd like to find this or other resources, check out our website, hamiltonnativeoutpost.com.